You know, whenever I'm trying to find the person in charge, I always look for somebody in black and somebody in sunglasses. And uh, that's what we've got right here. We have who? I'm Zeb Williams, and I'm with United Way. Yeah, Zeb, um, you know, I'm going to go in and crash this private party, and uh, but but it, it might be nice to know a little bit about what I'm in for. What's going on up there? So this is our, this is our Live Lucky uh, United Way party. And oh, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Patrick's Day. Hey everybody, it's crowd surfing with Craig Bielik here tonight. Guess what? Check out this sign. Private party? Uh Uh-huh. Yep, a private party for the United Way. says private, but guess what? I'm going in, and so are you. So follow me, and we're crashing a private party. Yeah, baby, how often do you get to do this? So this is just an awareness party. We're glad you could come. I'm glad I can come. And like I say, this is so cool because I get to sneak into a private party. Yeah, baby. I know. I know. Do you think anybody's going to notice me up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're noticed wherever you go, man. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Let's go. We're sneaking into the party. Okay, now, are there bouncers or anything here? I mean, am I going to? All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, we got to go upstairs. Oh, wait, there is a bouncer. He looks mean, too. All right, here we go. We're going to go up the stairs. You always know it's a good party when you have to climb stairs to get there, right? I mean, that's always a good sign that this is a serious party. As we're getting closer, I can hear lots of merrymaking, okay? Listen to this. I'm hearing music. I'm hearing dance. I am hearing people talking, all kinds of stuff. One more flight of stairs, and we are there. I'm so excited. This is a cool party. And we're almost there. Take a look at it now. Yes, indeed, it is a party. And you can see that plain and simple. Check it out. Party time. This is what we do on St. Patrick's Day. Us guys all get together and we go out and we party like crazy. It's all so cool to have my man here. What's your name, buddy? Trey. Your name's Craig? Oh, Trey. I thought you said Craig because my name's Craig. It's always fun to find happy party goers, and I ran into somebody who looks very happy. He's, she's got the food. Delicious food, yeah. good drink. It's wonderful. Yeah, and, and who are you, and why are you here at the United Way event? My name is Michael Richards, and I just got off from volunteering with the Red Cross, and we were told to come here. We were given a ticket to come here tonight. Party girls at the United Way oh, celebration, the lucky party. It says private party downstairs, but they somehow let me in. And me also. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell, tell everybody who you are. I'm Dina Allen. Yes. And Dina Allen. Mrs. Lynn Allen. Everybody knows me by Mrs. Lynn Allen because they didn't know who Dina Allen was or is. <laughs> right, but everybody knew Lynn Allen. Absolutely. With that fabulous voice. Yeah. Yes, he had. Did a- he always have that voice even when you met him? Absolutely. Are you having a fun party? Yeah. Who's that sitting next to you? Ryder. Ryder. That's Ryder. Is Ryder your brother? Cousin. He's your cousin. Right? This is really fun. Are you, are you, do you do this a lot? Trey, are you a big party guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you do like the you know, I don't get to hang out with a lot of guys, so can we do the guy thing? Can we knuckle and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Oh so you volunteer with Red Cross and what do you do with them? Uh, I just answer the phone. It's what I do. I work the desk. We shouldn't say just answer the phone because sometimes I mean that's a lot of work. I mean you gotta know a lot of stuff. Have appointments and that type of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are definitely St. Patrick Day out. I am. I tried really hard. Are you, in fact, Irish? No, I'm not. Really? <laughs> Any Irish? No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, you look very nice. Well, thank you. And you met him how and when? Oh, my. That's been many, many years ago. Yeah. I met him uh, at KLO Radio at the station. It was on Christmas Eve. We went, uh, I went on a, I was on a date over to the... Uh, over to the dance hall over across the street, you know, and it was kind of boring, so we left and went over to see this new disc jockey that came to Ogden. Can we knuckle, Ryder? Found it. You found it. Ouch! Can we knuckle? <laughs> Ouch! My goodness, this is fun. This is crazy stuff. Yeah, so you know what guys do when they go out and 
kind of party and stuff like this, don't you? We look for girls. Yeah. Do you see any girls? Mm-mm. Oh, I can see a couple. Look, there's there's a girl right across the table from us. You're not really all that interested in girls, are you? <laughs> have you noticed the ballet behind us? Yes, I have. Uh-huh. Yeah, wonderful. Are you a ballet fan by any way? Very much. I like the ballet. My uh, nephew was in the American Ballet Competition in Bulgaria. Really? Really? Okay. Tell me your top three favorite ballets. I don't know. The Swan. What's the... Swan Lake? Swan Lake. And uh, Don Quixote. Don Quixote? Okay. Uh, and I can't think of another one. I'm sorry. Uh, Rambo, the ballet? Oh, uh, Rambo. I can't recall Rambo. <laughs> Most people out there probably know what Len Allen did. They know his career. They know what he did for Ogden, all of those kind of things. But tell us a few things to, to the folks out there who may not know Len Allen. Oh, Len was a, really a great guy. He was very loving and caring. And he loved everybody. I don't think he, he, he said he never met a person that he didn't like. How old are you, by the way, Trey? Four. Four? You're kidding me. Four years old already? Yeah. Do you go to preschool yet? Yeah. Yeah? What preschool do you go to? Uh, Miss Jamie's. Okay. Miss Jamie's? Miss Jamie's. Yeah, good preschool, Miss Jamie's. I, everybody knows about Miss Jamie's. Uh, what about, um, let's see, what is their, their Cinderella? Cinderella is wonderful, absolutely, yes. Uh, Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet. The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker, yes. Yeah, everybody knows that's a ballet. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Do you know anything about ballet? Pardon me? Do you know anything about ballet? Uh, all I know is that I like to watch it and uh, that my nephew being involved in it was really a treat to go see him in Bulgaria. He's an outstanding dancer. Great supporter of Ogden, great supporter of the Egyptian Theater, great supporter of Weber State, great supporter of the downtown redevelopment. He lent his voice to everything in the world. Pioneer Days Rodeo. Absolutely. And when there was a parade, Len was always there to say hi to everybody. Here we are as well. Wild guys out on the town partying. What are we going to do next? Uh, ice cream. We're going to have ice cream? Oh, yeah. We're going to have ice cream. Man, we are going to party until, well, until bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. What time is your bedtime? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. I think that sounds pretty good. That's uh, about two hours away from now. We can do all kinds of things, can't we? Yeah. Do you know what a plie is? A plie? I think I do. Uh, Isn't that when they get up on their toes? And uh, I think that's a plie. Not sure. I don't know what it is. I just have heard the term. (laughs) If you say it's when they get up on their toes, then yes. Oh, either. Okay. It's when they get up on their toes. Yeah. Don't they always get up on their toes? I mean, isn't that what ballet is? I don't know what a plie is. I don't. And I should where my nephew was an answer, shouldn't I? Maybe we could call him. I've got a cell phone here in my pocket. You want to? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. Tell everyone to support United Way and Red Cross. Please support United Way and Red Cross. Two wonderful organizations. They do a lot of good. That's right. Give to the plie. Yes. <laughs> A very great guy. And you can't be a great guy without a great woman behind you. No, I don't know about that, but I sure did love that man. No, that's sure. Well, I've been trying to rush up my Len Allen impression. You're doing pretty good. Too. Well, I've been, I've been practicing it now in my mind for about eight seconds. So do you want me to give it a whirl? Oh, go right. Up. Yeah. Len Allen, KLO Radio. Good morning. <laughs> well, not quite as good as his, but... <laughs> Well, you know what I want you to do? I want you to look into that camera right there, because people are watching you on television right now. And wipe your mouth, yes. I want you to do that, too. And I want you to tell people out there that the United Way does good things. Can you say that for me? United Way does good things. Yeah. So... Here we are at this private party. I saw the sign outside. It's a private party sponsored by our friends with Underground. First off, I don't really even know what Underground is, so tell me what it is. Describe it. And why has that got an Ogden connection? Well, Underground, it's an herbal bitter liqueur. It's 80 proof. It starts out with corn and wheat, distilled to 95% alcohol. We then infuse it into 33 herbs, flavors, and spices. Come on, that was eight seconds worth of practice. (laughs) 
that was pretty good. Pretty good, Craig. Well, I know you're a wonderful supporter of United Way, and why do you do that? Because we need it. We need uh, all of the help and support that we can get for all of the different, uh, in the community, all of the different things that uh, United Way supports. Oh, a little bit of stage fright there. What about you, Ryder? Can you say United Way does good things? (laughs) How about you, buddy? United Way does good things? Yeah. (laughs) United Way. Say it. Say United. (laughs) <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> let's try this. How about you say, bye. Yeah, it does have a history of odd dinner. Well, at least to me it does. Just the history of underground, uh, the underground scene that I've heard about only in uh, books and, uh, you know, what some of the old timers have told me about uh, Ogden. So what does this stuff taste like by itself if you're not putting it in anything else? Uh, By itself, it's a a creamy licorice. Uh, It has, uh, you know, hints of anise, a little bit of a chocolate, angelica. It's really a complex flavor profile that um, really is great, enjoyed just by itself. And what if somebody's home thinking, well, I, I can't help them. I've only got maybe two dollars. $5, $2, every little bit helps. It all helps and all comes together. This is wonderful to talk to you. Thanks. And just for the record, I once heard Len Allen do a Craig Bielek impression, and he was awful. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) How about goodbye? (laughs) This happens every time I go out with the guys, man. After a while, they can't even speak. This is what it's like, but we're having fun anyway. Thanks for joining us. And you guys are supporters of United Way, obviously, because you're doing this, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're really happy to be here and, of course, happy to be pouring underground. Yeah, and, and, and what is it that, why would you support United Way? Why would someone do that? Who cares about United Way? Well, we do, and just, the, just what I've seen, uh, you know, I have a very limited education on, um, you know, charitable organizations, but, you know, United Way in Ogden, it's something that they're doing great things. It's only on St. Patrick's Day that you can get away with wearing a tie like that. I know, and the button covers yeah yeah you are you are john o patterson today absolutely aaron go bra really can you do an irish accent can you oh no no that was it oh come on go bra. everybody's got a little irish in them that is fabulous i don't <laughs> i mean i'm built like a leprechaun but i can't speak this you know i can't speak the- i didn't say that i didn't say you were built like a leprechaun <laughs> You don't have to walk the room too far before you run into people who are enjoying parties like this one, right? This is amazing. I'm telling you, guy. We haven't had anything like this in Ogden in a long time. Imagine a drink with Mixed Bar. Well, how about that? <laughs> mixed drinks. Yeah. We haven't even gotten started and I haven't yeah. got it straight. Yeah. Well, my mixture is usually water and ice. Well, good for you. Unfortunately, the other night on television, I saw scams of fundraising for Japan. I mean, there's, you know, there's always that bad element out there that's trying to take people's money. Cool thing about United Way is when you're giving to United Way, you know it's going the right place. Exactly. That's that's one thing for sure. United Way is, um, you know, a long-standing organization from, I think, the 1930s. And, um, yeah, they're, they're someone that I, I feel very comfortable being part of. What are you doing here? We're uh, living united, supporting United Way. And this is a fun events. event. Yeah, thank you. This is all the agencies that they serve certainly need our support, and this is a great opportunity to get acquainted with them. I've never been in this building downtown Ogden. You probably know the scoop on it. This is a fabulous building. I have not seen it since renovated. This is great. Imagine Ballet have done a phenomenal job here. Yeah. So they moved in down here, and this is their rehearsal hall. Is that right? Because, I mean, look behind us. This is either a ballet rehearsal hall or um, I don't even know what I what I. But I, I, I love the Live United shirts. I mean, that's fabulous. I enjoy this, though. Mine's cranberry. I love that. Oh, yeah, cranberry. That's good for you. Nothing in it. But yeah, no kidney infection. You know, have a drink now. Her political career is over, so she has a little sarsaparilla. <laughs> all right, all right, you two. Now wait a second. Wait a second. You got to tell everybody who you are, what you do. I'm Robbie King, P- Planet Rainbow, Rainbow Gardens, and of course my mother Roseanne. Roseanne King, and I have been up there for 40 years with uh, Rainbow Gardens. How can people find out more about Underground? We've got a website. Yeah, you can go to undergroundherbalspirit.com. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, and then a free sample will come right out of the computer screen, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's a scratch and sniff section and a free pour section. <laughs> now that's a website. Yeah, thank you. Tell me one more time who you are. I'm Tim Smith. I'm the president and owner of Ogden's Own Distillery, uh, the creators of Underground Herbal Spirit. Nice to meet you, Tim, and we wish you, of course, the best of luck. It's And it's St. Patrick's Day. Lots of luck to you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Happy to be here. All those kiddos are living united, making a difference in the world. You know, when I look at them, it takes me back to my days in the ballet. Oh, yeah, exactly, Craig. You and me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm about that flexible. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Yeah. It was a very poor ballet theater. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm trying to think if I've ever even been to the ballet. I've been to the Nutcracker a couple of times. Oh, man. Uh, you? You been some? Maybe not. Yeah, folks in leotards and tights just don't do it for me. In case somebody out there doesn't know where Rainbow Gardens is, right at the mouth of the canyon, some of the greatest homeware items, novelty items. In the city. In the city, anywhere, yeah. Rainbow. We're here tonight to support uh, Peary's Egyptian Theater, uh, my grandfather, Harm Peary, built. And we're having this event is, is for that and for St. Patrick's and the ballet as well. I have been told that you're the man to talk to about ballet because here we are at the United Way party, which is also including a lot of ballet. You're wearing the Live United shirt. You need to tell us all about Ogden Imagine Ballet. That's what it's called, right? Imagine Ballet Theater. Ba- Imagine Ballet Theater. So tell us who you are. Tell us about the theater. Tell us why you're connected to United Way and anything else you'd like to talk about, you know, the dog you had when you were 12 and you know all those all those kind of things no go ahead give us a spiel um imagine ballet theater has been in ogden for the this is our eight, going on our eighth year um we used to be housed at the egyptian theater and we finally i guess grew up and got our own space we now have six thousand square feet in downtown ogden you need to take him to the ballet i love the ballet what's your favorite well the nutcracker of course yeah. but the music and the beautiful, graceful movements. These girls, I'm just fascinated watching them. My wife and daughter went to Sleeping Beauty Ballet, which they said was terrific. I understand it is. Yeah. And Cinderella. Perfect for little girls. Yeah. So how happy were you guys when that theater was restored? We were fantastic. I can tell, tell you how happy I was, and I know my father would have been thrilled to death. Is that right? <laughs> did you actually go to the opening of the original Egyptian theater? I think I did, and I went down there a lot when I was a small child. <laughs> I remember going there to move even when I was dating. Uh huh. This is a fabulous building. Dedicated to dance, and um, I wanted to partner with United Way because I want Imagine Ballet Theater to be part of the fabric of downtown Ogden, and they are such a fa- part of the fabric of downtown Ogden. I wanted to partner with them and let them hold their event here to raise money for them. So I'm trying to think of the ballets I know. There's La Boheme. Is that how you say that? I'm sure you're right, Craig. That's right, yeah. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. I, and I'm sure that's a good one, too. Rambo, the ballet. Rambo, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now we're getting into it. Rambo, Guns Terminator. Tides, yeah. okay. Terminator 2, the ballet. The ballet. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't heard of that one. We need that one. Oh, it's great. It's just great. <laughs> yeah. What else did your grandfather do uh, here in Ogden? Well, a great deal. He's founded Ogden Pioneer Days. Woohoo! In 19... Yeah. <laughs> he found he created Whippy Girl. <laughs> yeah. well, and let's see what he did. He was mayor for 20 years. He... Uh, supervised and, and uh, organized Ogden High School, the, uh, um, the uh, City Hall, uh, f- the uh, Forestry Building. All that was done under his administration. This is fabulous. So, are you a ballet instructor? I'm a ball- uh, Yes, I'm a ballet instructor. Uh, now, I used to dance for. I danced for Ballet West for 17 years. You did? No kidding. Yes. All right. Well, tell these people out there on television one thing that United Way does for our community. The fabulous efforts to try to improve graduation rates in Ogden. I mean, that's where it all begins. If we can get kids through high school, then they are going to be a success later on, and uh, they won't be quite uh, a draw or drain upon the community resources. That's right, and I don't think a lot of people realize that there are kids that have a hard time getting through college or, or getting through high school just simply because of resources. Absolutely. I mean, they don't have the fees. They don't have the funds to buy books. They don't have, you know, laptops. They don't have means to succeed. And nowadays, you've got to have all of that in order to succeed. So United Way agencies have joined together to help promote graduation 
um, you know, percentages. He kind of was one of the people that made Ogden what Ogden is. Well, I would think so. I hope that's the story. So you know what? I'll bet he's here right now at this party. Maybe he is. Yeah. He's got to be here someplace. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be here someplace because if it was happening in Ogden, he would be here. That's right. I'm sure he'd love to be here and he must be here. Well, listen, if you should run into him, point him out, would you? Okay. Because I, I'd love to meet him. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. I know very little about ballet. Been to the Nutcracker. I think I went to Romeo and Juliet a couple of times. I was just quizzing people out in the lobby about, you know, telling me what, telling me what their favorite ballet was, and I was throwing out some Swan Lake. We heard that Nutcracker, Nutcracker and Swan Lake. Romeo and Juliet, yeah. the staples. Yeah. We're gonna make Secret Garden a staple. No kidding. It's an original ballet to a Imagine Ballet Theater. It's got an original score. Um, it's the only score that's been written specifically for the ballet. Right now, there's some kid struggling to get through high school. Right now, he's sitting in art class writing Rambo the Ballet. Exactly. And that may never come to fruition if that guy doesn't make it. Yeah, yeah, if he doesn't have a laptop to do it on. There you have it. The means, yeah. There you have it. Well, thank you for sharing your tie with us and your time. Thanks, Craig. Live United. Thank you. You know, whenever I'm in an event, the very first place I go is where there's ice cream. Ice cream. We have chocolate, vanilla, and we have caramel topping, chocolate topping, nuts, and uh, Oreos. So have whatever you'd like. Oh, I'm going to have it all. Absolutely every bit of it. We do takeout, too. So, yeah. Tell us, if you can, just a little bit about the story of Secret Garden. It's, it follows the book. Um, it's the little girl that loses her parents in India. She ends up going to her, un- her uncle's house in England um, to live with him. And he's got a little boy that, was, that died when, when his wife was giving birth and um, she fell out of a swing in the garden, and so he locked the garden up, and it's the garden's magic that brings the whole family back together and lets the little boy learn how to walk again. Now, who wouldn't want to see that? That's cool. It's a cool story, and it it will make you cry, too. Really? Okay. Tell us who you are. Tell us what Procter & Gamble is, as if we don't know, and why you're here at this party. I am Dave Rader. I work in the engineering department at Procter & Gamble. Uh, We've just built a new plant in outside Brigham City in Utah. And uh, yesterday, March 16th, we had the grand opening for that plant as we are now in full production. Well, tell the people out there who you are, what this event is all about, and, uh, and, and give, us the, give us the whole pitch. All right. I'm Bob Hunter. I'm president of the United Way of Northern Utah. And uh, we're having a little get-together with some of our donors and board members and representatives of the community because uh, we want to inform them more about what United Way of Northern Utah does. We're an umbrella agency for about 61 human service agencies in northern Utah. I, you know, most ballets make me cry. I don't know why. But oh, well, you're a romantic then. I guess. Either that, either that or, I, you know, just something comes over me or something like that. Um, what was your favorite ballet to dance in? Um, I, probably Romeo. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you, in fact, play Romeo? Yeah. In case there's somebody out there that's lived in a cave for 90 years, what does Procter & Gamble do? Uh, Procter & Gamble makes uh, consumer products, um, all types of consumer products. So everything from what we make in Utah, which is Charmin and Bounty, uh, to diapers, to all kinds of products that people use every day. Uh, Chances are, anybody watching at home right now probably has about 10 Procter & Gamble products within reach, probably. That is correct. You know, one of the biggest things we try and do is touch people's lives every day. And those are the products that um, we make and basically to improve the lives of people. That's a lot of umbrellas. That's at least 61 umbrellas. It keeps us dry. If ever there's a storm, you know, we don't walk alone. We walk under umbrellas. So, uh, and, and... we, we, we go into the workplace like Procter & Gamble, and the employees make donations. We gather those donations, and we, we send them out to wherever they designate them. And if they designate us, then we divide that money up where it will do the most good. And, you know, what I like about United Way is when I'm giving to United Way, I know, A, no one's going to be running off with it. B, it's going to where it's needed, and it's going local. Thank you. And I know you're one of our big donors, so thank you for that. I think I gave $8 million last year. Yeah, I, no, I thought it was 10 Did Was you, it really? Did I'll have to get one of my accountants on that and find out. Yeah, see, if I was in the ballet, I'd be like 
third guy who comes from the left and brings flowers. Yeah, well, I, I was the lead in most of the ballets when I was at Ballet West. So. That's fantastic. This is a passion of yours. Yeah. How many students do you have? Um, right at the moment, we have about 65 here, but we have room for more. Wow. Right. And how excited are we to have you guys in our community? Uh, do you know why you chose this community? Do you know why you chose the Brigham area? Uh, we, basically, Utah was one of the places we wanted to come. Um, one of the big reasons, obviously, business-wise was distribution, uh, being on the West Coast. But the other thing was that the culture and the ethics that people have in Utah, okay, to be able to build a, a winning culture in the plant and in the community. So it's been a very important thing for the company as a whole to to choose an area where we knew we could get those kind of values. And then the time you give us as a volunteer is absolutely priceless. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, just doing this right here, I, I generally make about, well, anywhere from 2 to $6 for a gig like this. <laughs> And I'm donating it all. Donating it donating all. It back. Okay. I may want some ice cream. Okay, we'll give you some. <laughs> Any flavor you want. All right. How can people give the United Way? Uh, they can go online at uh, uwnu.org, and there's a way they can give there online, or they can visit us or send a check to us at 2955 Harrison Boulevard in Ogden. Okay, so how can people find out about you guys? You got a website? We have a website, imagineballettheater.org. And our phone number here at the studio is 801-393-5000. And um, we have, even though we're sharing that, evidently, it used to be Rent-A-Center's phone number. Yeah. Now it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that causes quite a bit of confusion, you know? Oh, I'd say, can we rent a TV? I said, no, I can help you learn how to dance. But, <laughs> you know. I think you chose the right spot. Oh, absolutely. So, um, you know, P&G has been involved with United Way for a very long time. In fact, uh, one of the founders of P&G was actually one of the original people that worked on uh, what were called community chess back then, which were one of the precursors to United Way. So uh, it's been very proud on our part to be a part of United Way. And one of the first things we did when we uh, came here, even as we were doing construction, was got involved with United Way right away um, in northern Utah. And that's how we built this partnership uh, very quickly. And we've talked to a lot of people here. We learned a little bit about what the need is and that it's very real and it's very urgent and it needs to be done and it's constant. It never goes away. Right. That's right. Cool. Well, all I want you to do now is look into the camera and say, give to the United Way. But it's St. Patty's Day. So please do it in the best Irish accent you can. I can't, I can't do Irish accents. Uh, well, can you do any accent? So can you teach anyone to ballet dance? I mean, obviously, like anything else, there are people that are more gifted than others. But that are more gifted, you know. Um, but there are also people that learn. I've, I've seen people that don't have the ballet body go on to have very great careers because they were so passionate about it. What is the first thing you teach somebody in ballet? I mean, what would you teach me? I, okay, I'm standing right here in front of you. First position, second position, third position, and fifth position. Okay. What a wise move. And that's how you ended up coming to this party. It is. This is a cool party. This is a private party. Uh, it, it is, but it's open to a lot of people. I think it was open to the public, actually. So. Oh, you're killing me. I, th I thought I got into, I thought I snuck into a private party, and you're telling me any old Joe could walk into this party? I believe so, yes. Oh, man. Well, I've had enough of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you know, buzz killer. <laughs> no, this is awesome. And thank you, Pub. Uh, thank you, Procter & Gamble, for your support of our community. Welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I can do a Hindi accent. <laughs> I think that would be well, that would be way worth it. Please, please, you people, give to the United Way. Please, please do this. How's that? I think that's really good. And if there's ever a Hindi day, we'll air it on that day too. Okay. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Bob. All right. Thank you. So teach me first position. First position. Toes out to the side. Toes out to your ears. Okay. I'll hold on to you. Okay. I think I think I'm there. Okay. Yeah. And then second position is just about a foot of space between your legs. And then the toes still have to stay out. Stay out. And okay. Not tip over. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. All right. All right. And then in third position, one foot is slightly crossed in front of the other. Put the right foot. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's third position. Uh, I, I, you know what? I think that's final position. That's final <laughs> yeah, I think I think this is where we <laughs> end. It just goes a little further. Oh no no uh, no no! I'll break something. <laughs> I mean I mean there are some people that cannot be taught this, but I really appreciate it. We're gonna say goodbye on crowd surfing because I've got to get to a physician very quickly. I think so. Yeah, if you want to tell folks out there, thanks for watching crowd surfing. Check out the Ogden and Mansion Ballet Theater. Yep. And uh, thank you for your support for United Way. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Thanks.